Neutral earthing and grounding serve one and the same goal. These techniques keep people safe from electric equipment and electric shocks if such equipment is alive due to damage insulation. Neutral grounding has a following nature. If insulation is damaged, the circuit occurs as follows. Transformers input phase winding, phase conductor, device, the point of frame fault, protective conductor, neutral point of transformer secondary winding. A single phase circuit occurs and the current strength increases sharply. An automated fuse actuates. The conducting element burns out, switching off the device with a damaged insulation. This is exactly what we need. Protective grounding is a process of deliberate connection to the ground or its equivalent. Grounding is designed for insulated neutral mains, for instance, in old houses, with 220 and 127 volt mains. In some cases we use neutral earthen technique, while in other cases we need protective grounding. This depends on the power supply system. Thus mains with dead earthed neutral points of transformer secondary winding require neutral earthing. The neutral earthen technique is used in all new residential houses and all houses where power supply systems were switched from 127 volt to 220 volt.